Welcome to Sam Livecast. We're calling today Winging It. Ah. I'm making something I've never made before. Because somebody said, oh, have you ever made this? And I went, no. So I'm going to. Will it work or won't it? I have a sense, I have a sense it'll work. We're making like a, kind of like a corn chowder. Oh. Right? But, the typical corn chowders are like cream and potato and stuff like that. I'm feeling a little porky these days, so I'm trying to make a version of it that is not that. So here's how we've started. Come, Max. You would recognize that as? Bacon. Bacon, right? Beautiful bacon. Just a little handful of bacon. Diced up. We're about to take that out. Now, I get asked by people all the time, do you still use ready bacon? And ready bacon is that stuff that's mostly cooked in just a couple seconds in a thing or the microwave or whatever, and it's done. And it has a place. I don't use it anymore. And I'll tell you why I don't use it anymore. Because when I use bacon, for example, for what we're making now, I want the bacon cooking in the pot so when I take the bacon out, the bacon grease will then flavor everything else that comes after it. That's how you build the flavor. And you just can't do that if you use that ready bacon stuff. So, so this bacon is nice and perfect for me. I don't cook bacon until it's like super, super, super crispy. I like it when there's still a little, I feel like there's still a little, like I wouldn't cook a steak till it was well done because you lose a lot of the flavor. It's my same thinking about bacon. I like bacon, so it's just on this side of getting crispy. So, we'll take the bacon out. It's gonna do wonderful things for our chowder, God I hope. God I hope. Okay, so look, there's about a tablespoon and a half of grease in here. Still, I'm gonna leave it. And here's what we're gonna add to it. We're gonna add some yellow onion. And then we'll find out if my cure for making this healthy but still chowder E is gonna is gonna work. So I want some onion. There we go. That's good, right? Let's throw that in here, like this. I love that smell. I love that smell and I love that sizzle and that's doing all the right things. Okay, well this is doing that. Let's throw some green pep in. Green pep. I didn't mean to say that, I meant to say green pepper. I don't know why I said that. I don't think I've ever said green pep before and I will promise not to say it again. We slice this way, and then we slice this way. We can stack this one, we'll do these both at the same time. Good color. It's nice, right? It'll be a nice little bit of color in this, and it'll be a nice little bit of crunch in this. This goes in. I turned it down too much. Shit. All right, well, let's open this corn. Of course you could do this with fresh corn, but I'm telling you, it's easier. It's a lot easier. Picked at the height of freshness. <laughs> That's what they say, it is. It is. And there's like nothing, there's no hardly any calories in a whole damn can of this. I'm not using creamed corn, just whole kernel corn. I don't want this liquid, much of it. But now that I've said that, can I just grab a bowl? I think I will keep some.
Good. Good, good. This is gonna be great. Okay, this I want softer, so this is gonna take a minute. And why not? Flavor and lubrication. We got a little butter in here now, we got the bacon. Now I'm gonna throw some of the corn in. Oh, uh, no, not yet, sorry. I'm thinking this through in my head as we go. I just had an idea. Well, I'm standing here. Let me say hello to my son, Jordan. We just talked to him on the phone. He's in Colorado. Hello, Jordan. Didn't talk to my son, Zach, but I'll say hello, Zach. They probably don't watch, but now I'll tell them to. And all their friends. So we just gave it about uh, three minutes, and look at Look what's happened in there. That's outstanding. And here's my idea. So now watch this. Here's what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold back a little. Just a little bit. Uh, for the top. For the top. Right? Now I'm going to add some corn. Not all the corn. Half the corn. And now we will season this a bit. Sometimes it's nice to season. There's liquid going in this, but we're not going to season with the liquid. Uh, we're going to season before. So, what we'll look at. We'll definitely get some salt. We'll definitely get pepper. And I really like the idea of some smoked paprika. Now a chowder is thick, right? Mm -hmm. But just throw liquid in, what's it gonna do? It's just gonna be liquidy. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put in, do I have some open? Almost always have some open. Okay, I don't. I got it right here. Right here. Some chicken broth. And I don't know how much to do. I can always add more. And let's just put a little bit of this corn liquid in. And now that's going to just start to do some beautifulness right there. Now I'm going to get out my immersion blender. Mm. So the idea is to use the corn itself to help thicken the the, uh, the chowder, chowder, as they say. Just let this come to a quick boil. Come on, fellas. Come on, everybody. Oh God, it's true what they say about a wash pot. Nothing happens. I can see the edges. I want more than the edges. I just want one decent little boil. Oh, that smoked pep paprika is really good. I say if you're ever buying paprika and you don't want two, just buy the smoked one. It's so much better. So much better. See, it's got to get hot. All right, should we go for it? Let's do it. Let's see how this works. Uh, don't splash me. Uh oh, splashing me. Oh god, it's splashing everywhere. It looks like it's getting kind of thick. I gotta turn this off, man. I don't know why it's foamy. I could have done this in a uh, 
in a blender. Look at. Wow. I think that's going to be enough. Okay, so check this out, Max. Look at. It's thick, right? Yeah. It's really nice. Now we add the rest of the corn because we want it to be chunky. And see, most of this has gotten kind of pulverized. Just got extra thick now with this. It's fantastic. I'm so happy I did this. So happy. We'll take a little bit of the bacon and throw it in. Oh boy, oh boy. And then this. Then you wipe your hand. And then you get yourself a bowl. And you get yourself a ladle. And you go like this. Look at that, how fast was this? Super fast. Super fast. We take a little bit of this stuff on top, a little bit of the green pepper and the onion. Boom. Mother may I. And now one bite. Mm. Wow. The bacon's really nice. The vegetables are still, these ones we've added, still crunchy. That whole corn that didn't get mushed up. Mm. No cream. <clears throat> That's fantastic. No flour. No making a roux, a thickener. Just this. And a little bit of smoked paprika is really nice. Look, if you like corn and corn soups and corn chowders and stuff like that, you're gonna to wanna to make this. This and some really good sourdough bread or something. Oh my God. But wait, I don't wanna eat the sourdough bread because I'm trying to eat better. So, all right, thanks for hanging out. See you again on Wednesday, make this. Don't make the same stuff all the time and definitely don't eat crappy food. See ya.